Yes, it's another boring YouTube video showing off some nature footage about a camera lens. I remember the first time I saw the Helios 58mm Cinemod Lens Canon EF Mount Anamorphic Bokeh and Flare 44 II. That's a mouthful. Anyway, um, so I was bouncing around YouTube and I came across this lens and saw a little bit of sample footage and um, it's, um, you know, like most people I've been wanting to try to get into anamorphic, but you know, the lenses are 50 or $60,000 and all the cheap substitutes are just cheap substitutes. So if you're going to use a cheap substitute, why not just use a cheap substitute? This lens is worth the gamble. It's $200 on eBay. It's a nice, uh, old Russian lens that's been modded to fit EF mounts or any camera mount. And uh, they even put a 77 millimeter uh, thread so I can put my ND filter on here, which is basically what I did all this footage with. Uh, I just slapped the ND filter on there and um, the lens itself is manual. So the aperture uh, and the focusing are both manual. So with the aperture being that way, it didn't really matter. I just left it wide open and uh, use my ND filter to clamp down uh, <clears throat> any zebras or highlights that I didn't want. It still got me the, uh, the soft look that I wanted, which is the whole point of trying to mimic film is to get something that's sharp, but doesn't look overly digital or overly, you know, home video camera. Um, like a lot of people, I picked up the Sigma 18 to 35, which is a nice lens. But the problem is when a lens is too perfect, it's too sharp, it's too clear. Uh, one of the things I love about certain films is that almost dirty lens look. There's like something like they they just took a hammer to the lens and banged it around a little bit. And it just gave it some really, really cool uh, feel to it, you know, where it just doesn't feel as picture perfect. So, um, I've only had it for a day, so I basically took it out and uh, just shot some stuff. And as usual, whenever I get new things, there's nobody around for me to test it on except for what's around my house. So, hence the boring video. But to show everybody what a $200 lens looks like that's been modded, um, to have uh, the anamorphic kind of oval uh, bokeh, um, which you might see in this and you might not. Uh, there's also, um, it's got the lens flare stuff if you like the J.J. Abrams kind of look to it. Um, it's not as crazy as um, I was worried it might be, which is awesome. Um, you pretty much have to be in the dark and start just blasting lights at it to even get that. So car lights, things like that. But um, it's not going to be a glare monster that's just going to ruin so much footage by having that there. So um, the light pretty much had to be beaming right at it and, uh, you know, overexposed all to hell and um, then it would do it. But it's nice to have if you need it or if you want that effect. But uh, I just wanted a lens that just kind of had a more vintage feel to it that just did not look picture perfect. And for $200, this thing's pretty kick-ass. So if you're wondering, uh, I'll post a link in the description. See ya.